Jeopardy round. Daily doubles on the board. Okay, let's get to the double Jeopardy round. That's what Alex Trebek Here said, and we're back for part two. Double Jeopardy round. The end of the line. End of the line. Mm -hmm. So this I M E at the end of the line in quotation marks. Weights, Weights and, and measures. measures. Okay. Children's literature. Yeah, I know. Mm -hmm. Who was that masked man? Anatomy. The last category is guys named Gary. Mm, children's literature seems like a pretty easy category. Player two, if you would yep. start us off, please. <laughs> the end of the line for 400. I should do well on that one. Or extracting spot. What is a mine? What, what, can I refer to that player? That's the end of the line. End of the line. Definitely. Yeah, I need Over to you, player one. End of the line, 800. Cord made from strands twisted together. What is twine? Correct. End of the line, end of the line, 12. Boars, hogs, and pigs collectively. What are swine? Correct. Pick again. Line 16. The tomb of a holy person. What's a shrine? Mm. Correct. Pick again. Line 2000. This adjective that means pertaining to God is used in the title of a comedy by Dante. What is divine? Okay, that's what you do. Eight Correct. Pick again. Pick again. That's, that's right. And I'm going to let Justin make the next selection. Do you want weights and measures, children's literature, who was that masked man, anatomy, or guy's name, Gary? Uh, let's try children's literature. Audrey Wood and David Shannon's book about this great big logger introduces his wife and kids. Great big logger. Who's Paul Bunyan? Or is it, uh... Huh? I guess, yeah. Great big logger. I guess that would be... Very Bunyan. good. Yep. Pick again. Children's literature, eight. Stan and Jan Berenstain have written a series of books about a family of these title animals. Who are, what are bears? I've read their books when I was a kid. So have I. And of course that was a long time ago. Very good. You yep. begin. Children's Lit 12. Kavatica is the last name of the title character of this 1952 E.B. White novel. What is Charlotte's Web? Kavatica is the last name of the title of this 1952 E.B. White novel. It has to be Charlotte's Web. It's the only one I know of. I should know because I've read that That's book. it, exactly. Yep. Children's Literature 16. Answer. Whoa! Alright! Okay, now how Well, I've definitely I made a move. How much do we have? 10,400. Okay. Well, we don't want to go too big and risk losing the lead. 4,600. Here's the clue. Alright. This character in a book by San Exupery leaves his tiny planet because of a prideful flower. What's the clue? This type, this character in a book by Saint Exupery leaves in a leaves this tiny planet because of a flower, of a prideful flower. Ah! I don't think I've heard of that particular book. Whatever. Let's. Uh
What is the little prince? Right. Got it in just in time. Children's Literature 2000. The cut paper illustrations of Golem earned David Wisniewski this medal. What is the Caldecott? Correct. Got it. Well, you're certainly pulling away now. Yeah. Uh, uh, who is that masked man? 400. In 1988, Michael Crawford picked up a Tony for playing the masked title role in this musical. Uh, what is Phantom of the Opera? Very good. You pick again. Masked man, eight. The title of this category comes from an offset phrase on this classic radio and TV show. What we were looking for was this. The Lone Ranger. Oh, well, looks like I got a call. So hold on. Hold on while I take this. Oh, great. Okay, I'm back. Had to attend to a call. But let's go with who is that masked man? Six, 1200. In films, he's down the Riddler's mask and the title mask in the mask. Uh, I hate to disappoint you, but I have to sign off for now. Who is Jim Carrey? Hi. That's right. Jim Carrey. Uh, if you would, play three. Let's try so, um, anatomy for 400. Before, once I drop this, you'll be in the red of the portion call. of this bone tissue is responsible for the creation of blood platelets. Bone tissue? What is myeloid tissue? Correct. Myeloid, okay. Player two, you choose. Anatomy for 800. What happened? Joint in which you. Mark was the host of the call. Structure called the rotator cuff. What Mark had to leave? Yeah. Join in which you find a band-like structure called the rotator cuff. What's the shoulder? Shoulder blade. Correct. Your shoulder. I'll tell you, I won't be on for long as well. Who is that masked man? 16. In a 1998 film, Catherine go Zeta like Jones well. fell for and dueled with this masked man. Who is Zorro? Correct. Mass Man 2000. A newswire reported this singer and king of pop disguised as an Arab woman shopping Jackson? in a Munich toy store. Very good. You pick again. And Ben, why don't you make the next one? Do you want Weights and Measures, Anatomy, or Guys Named Gary? Anatomy. 
Anatomy 1200. Answer. Daily double. Daily double. Layer one, please make your wager now. Okay. Twelve hundred. Here's the clue. Hey, butthead, this muscle's name is Latin for largest rump. Should have gone more. What is gluteus maximus? That's correct. Yeah. Anatomy sixteen. This band of connective tissue between the heel and the calf is named for a legendary warrior. Okay. What is Achilles... Okay. What is Achilles tendon? Right. Okay. Anatomy 2000. The anterior lobe of this master gland is responsible for the release of somatotropin, or growth hormone. This is the correct pituitary gland. What I was thinking. Uh, guy's name Gary, 400. Now semi-retired, this far side cartoonist got his start at the San Francisco Chronicle in 1979. This is what we want. Gary Larson. Guy's name Gary 800. He appeared with Tom Hanks in Forrest Gump and Apollo 13, and with Nicolas Cage in Snake Eyes. Who is Gary Cooper? This is a total guess. I don't know. It's not there. Who was Gary Owens? I'm sorry, that's no. Wrong. I don't even think he was an actor. Now that I think about it, who was Gary Sinise? Gary right. Sinise, sorry. Player three, you choose. I'll take weights and measures for four hundred. This linear measure equal to four inches is often used to determine the height of a horse. What is a hand? Correct. Oh, hand. Let's do weights and measures for 800. A portion of a journey. It's also the part of a relay race. Each athlete has to complete. Oh, oh. Here's what we were looking for. A leg. Yeah, I just thought of that. I watch, it's 10 a.m. I was named Gary for 1,200. This South African won Goff's Masters Tournament in 1961. Maybe, maybe now might be the time for Gary Owens. I admit I'm not much of a... No, no maybe Gary Shanling. I don't know very many people named we Gary. No, Gary Player. Looks like now I'm down to uh, just C3PO, just Corey with me. It's the term for one full trip around the track. What's a lap? I've seen a lot of races over the years, and I don't need three guesses to say that that's a lap. Correct. Waste of measure 16. Player 1, it's your turn. Wait to measure 16. To the ancient Greeks, a unit of measure called a palm was made up of four of these. This is what we wanted. Fingers. Uh, wait to measure 2000. It's a linear measure in the U.S or the basic unit of verse. What is a foot? Yes. Yeah, foot. But I've got this, I've got this in the bag. Guys named Gary for 1600. 
This South Dakota native was the golden tone voice of TV's Laugh-In. Nobody? No. Take a look. Here's the right response. Oh, now is the time for Gary Owens. I was thinking that. It's okay, this though. Round, our final answer. A Russian chess grandmaster, this man lost to a computer in 1997. Who's Gary Kasparov? Correct. And that takes you to $25,800. And that brings us to the end of the Double Jeopardy round. Let's take a quick look at the scores. Exceptional player one. 2800 for player two, 5400 for player three. That time, folks, final Jeopardy. We're going to take a look at the category, then we'll give you a few seconds to think about your wager. Famous artist. Famous artist. Go ahead, make your wager. 4,200. So one... Here is the So one Jeopardy. user will win a fictitious million plus the 30,000 or minutes whatever long, that I get. His New York townhouse was designated a cultural landmark in 1998. Do I hear Corey at all? Yeah. In a 15 minute long ceremony, his New York townhouse was designated a cultural landmark in 1998. Um. Oh no. Oh, I didn't have enough time. Let's see if you got the right question. Player two, what was your question? It's all right, though. Andy Warhol. Player two, I see that you like to live dangerously. But you're right. Way to it's go. It's Andy Warhol. So Player I won't three, get 30,000. Mikel Basquiat. Sorry. And, and we know that's wrong. What did that cost you? Everything. Ouch. Player one, your question was? I didn't get a chance to put anything in. Oh, no. How much did you wager? Just 4,200. So I dropped down to 21,600. <laughs> but I'm still Nobody the winner. said it was going to be easy. That was a heck of a game. It was. So one user will get will get a million bucks, a fictitious million, plus the twenty one thousand six hundred that I won from this game. Come back soon and play our game again. Bye. Bye, Alex. We'll add that 997,400 to the 21,600 that I won. And that gives me $1,019,000. And I'll see you guys for my classic game of the Price is Right 2010 for the Wii as part of my $3 million spectacular.